city council chambers, whenever anybody cheered up there and the mayor put a stop to it, it simply wasn't allowed. So uh, that felt really nice. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Uh, I just want to say how humbled I am to be standing here as your Conservative Party of Canada candidate for the next federal election. Joel, thank you very much for your kind introduction. I'm honored to have the support of you and your family. It really means a lot to me, so thank you. I encourage you to read the Conservative Party of Canada founding principles. Every Canadian should read them because they speak to the very value system of not only Conservatives, but as Canadians as a whole. These are the policies of the governing party of Canada, and therefore your policies. After the next election, with your support, they will remain your policies. Our party strikes a balance between fiscal accountability, sound social policy, and individual rights and responsibilities. It stands for equality for all Canadians. This is a party that believes that the quality of the environment is a vital part of our heritage to be protected by each generation for the next. This is a party that believes good and responsible government is attentive to all people. These are values that I hold true and that the people of Sault Ste. Marie and area hold true as well. These are values that I have clearly demonstrated during my tenure on City Council representing the concerns of not only the residents of Ward 3, but of the entire city. As your Conservative candidate, I promise I will be guided by these principles and that my votes and statements in the House of Commons will at all times reflect the best interests of those whom I was elected to serve. I will continue to have the open door policy you have come to know and will always be receptive to listen to you and carry forward to government your needs to the very best of my ability. Not only do I believe in the Conservative Party of Canada, I also believe in the leadership of Prime Minister Harper. Stephen Harper is one of the most professional and presentable Prime Ministers we have ever had as Canadians. both the domestic and world stage, Stephen Harper has consistently proven his ability, and I'm very proud to say he is our Prime Minister. Under his leadership, the confidence of Canadians in their government has been restored. When the worldwide recession hit, the Conservative government responded with an economic action plan including 23,000 projects across Canada that will deliver dividends for decades to come. The International Monetary Fund stated, Canada's economic resilience bears testimony to its strong and credible policy framework that responded proactively to the global crisis. Focused on jobs and growth, this plan is delivering results with over $125 million in federal investments made through the Conservative Economic Action Plan right here in Sault Ste. Marie and area. They're listed up there, all of them. I'll mention a few right now. $880,000 for Fort St. Joseph National Historic Site. $400,000 for the rehabilitation of the downtown highway corridor and boost mines. $1.4 million for the construction of a health station at Batchewana First Nations. $1.7 million for the hub trail and waterfront walkway expansion. 2.6 million for the Sault Ste. Marie Canada National Historic Site. Nine million dollars for the construction of an invasive alien species center at the Great Lakes Forestry Center, on top of 4.5 million for maintenance and modernization of the center. 7.3 million for the new 74,000 square foot facility for Oklahoma Public Health that will create efficiencies and operations and better service delivery for our area. $8 million for the Sioux College for the redevelopment of the campus on top of $1.2 million for the construction of an aviation repair facility and learning space for the college's aviation flight program. 
eight million dollars for Algoma University's Bioscience and Technology Convergence Center. Fifteen million dollars for the rehabilitation and improvements to the Huron Central Railway, which will create opportunity for industrial growth and new jobs, while ensuring the sustainability of existing industries and expansion of new ones. I assure you, projects like this would not have been possible if not for various committed local citizens and organizations, such as the late Mayor John Rosewell, Chief Administrative Officer Joe Fertizzi and his staff, the members of City Council with whom I serve, and the leadership of the Economic Development Corporation, to name but a few. This funding happened not because of having, but despite having an NDP Member of Parliament. Since forming the government five years ago, our party has cut corporate and small business taxes, which is why the Canadian economy is creating jobs. We've lowered the GST from 7% to 5%. As mentioned by the Minister, we've cut personal income taxes so that 19 million families pay up to $3,000 a year less than they did when we took office. We've introduced universal child care tax credits. We've introduced income splitting for pensions, which puts an average of $1,000 per year back in people's pockets. <laughs> We've introduced legislation to, to combat immigration abuse and human smuggling. And we've almost completely re-equipped the Canadian Armed Forces, which was so desperately required after the neglect of the former Liberal government. As Prime Minister Harper recently stated, we will always ensure they have what they need to do their jobs as well and as safely as possible. This was an extremely meaningful statement to me, as my father served for 33 years in the Canadian Air Force. Both of my sisters also joined the Air Force. I'm so very passionate about my country. You will find that most with a military background are. <coughs> When my father was stationed in Duluth, Minnesota, I remember in class each morning, all the students had to stand to recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America. I would not stand and say it, and when confronted by the teacher, I informed her I was Canadian and that my allegiance was to Canada. I ended up in the principal's office. <laughs> we compromised, and I agreed to stand, and they agreed I would not have to recite the words. I was in grade six at the time. I'm not sure that right then and there, my future in federal politics wasn't being hatched. <laughs> A renewed spirit of pride is taking root across the country. Have you felt it? Absolutely, absolutely. This change did not happen by accident. It's the result of strong conservative leadership. The kind of leadership I will bring to Ottawa as your member of parliament and representing the great riding of Sault Ste. Marie and area. It's the kind of leadership that I've demonstrated all of my life, and those who know me have come to expect. Unfortunately, the NDP did not get it. Tony Martin and his party do not believe in our economic policies, as they have voted against every budget the Conservative government has put forward the past five years. This includes still is funding I spoke of earlier. I'm not even sure he's listening to his people this riding at times, as he didn't listen to you about the wasteful long gun registry. He listened instead to Metropolitan boss Jack Layton, who wants to treat farmers and outdoor enthusiasts as criminals. Well, I'm the 